Good afternoon, guys. Yes, good afternoon, Fitria. So certainly not everyone is happy without man, uh, with the mandatory vaccine passport and other corona-related measures. So what can you tell us about it and how the government respond for the latest development there? Well, speaking about the protests that happened on Saturday, a number of police officers suffered minor injuries uh, during scuffle between anti-lockdown protests uh, in Parliament Square in Westminster on Saturday, but no arrests were made. Um, thousands of them have gathered from 12 um, noon, uh, where they march through the capital, but later on the afternoon, when uh, they stop in a, um, Regent Street, a really busy area um, of um, shopping malls um, and street uh, street malls in, in London and began throwing eggs to the shop um, until police intervene. Um, the protest itself has a, a lot of critics with some observers suggesting that by gathering in large number together, those taking part um, would make lockdown more likely by increasing transmission of the virus. Um, Fitria, this is Rory speaking. Actually, this incident is so saddening to, um, to me and, you know, the government's <laughs> effort anywhere in the world in tackling COVID-19. And a major incident has been declared in London and more than 10,000 new American cases have been confirmed in the UK as the variant surges across the country. And we know that neighboring countries such as France and Germany, they have closed their borders for tourists coming from the UK. So, Knowing about this current situation, what are the government's current plans to tackle the new variant of COVID-19? Um, well, the current restriction that was introduced almost two weeks ago is taking back um, or bringing back the mask mandate uh, mm. to become compulsory in most public indoor venue other than hospitality. Um, the NHS COVID pass um, to be mandatory if accepting using a negative test or full vaccination proof to able to enter certain premises. Um, the government also urging uh, people to get their booster jab and the general public who are asked to work from home if they can. Mm -hmm. And as we know, it's six days before Christmas and experts have called the government to introduce um, a fresh uh, restriction before hospitalization fueled by the Omicron variant uh, go through the roof again. And it comes after newly released detail from the UK Scientific Advisory Group of Emergency or SAGE meeting on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Reveal it was, uh, was most certainly there were hundreds of thousands of new infections each day on England. And on Saturday, uh, the UK recorded more than 12,000 new cases of the Omicron variant mm. uh, in the past 24 hours, an increase of 2,000 on the previous day, and with almost 82,000 new fresh cases um, uh, was found yesterday. All right, so Fitria, this is Hans speaking from the studio. Uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm mistaken. Uh, the government recorded uh, almost 25,000 people getting vaccinated for the past two weeks. And um, also the government has urged the public to get boosters. So far, how many of the population have uh, received the third jab? Well, Hans, you were correct. Um, as we know, the uh, booster program has been accelerated uh, with only three months gap between the last jab or mm -hmm. the fully vaccinated two doses to the third jab. As per data of, of 17 December 2021 showed, more than, four, more than 43 million people uh, or 77.1 of the population has received at least one dose. Mm -hmm. And there are more than 70.4% um, of the population has received the third um, um, the, the second uh, all been fully vaccinated with two doses and almost 23 million people or 40.8% of the population has been receiving a booster. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, there are several people or more, um, many people um, older than 50 years old has also been um, offered their fourth job to make sure that they are going to be fully um, protected from the virus. Right, Fitria, so this is Ahir speaking again to you. So maybe it's had been, it has been asked by Rory uh, uh, talking about uh, Germany is the latest country to ban Britain from entering and before that is uh, France. So with the rising number of infection, will the government apply stricter measures or maybe lockdown anytime soon like uh, it's happening in Netherlands, for example? 
Um, we'll need that the Prime Minister of the, or the Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, will add the new restriction. Three days ago, they were reported of possibility of two weeks um, circuit breaker. Uh, but yesterday, he uh, ruled out that this, there's, there's a possibility that the circuit breaker could happen mm -hmm. before Christmas. Um, but we do, but um, if the circuit breaker are implemented um, before Christmas or even lockdown, this could have been a major effect on business across the UK. But um, after, for the, this last week uh, itself, none of the government representation, um, uh, including Boris Johnson, has been able to give a straight um, answer whether there will be any lockdown soon or not. Mm. All right, Fitria, thank you so much for your updates and uh, we will hear from you even furthermore. Uh, please stay safe out there, uh, Fitria Sunkar from London, the United Kingdom. And. Um